Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Wano Ashikin. Recently, our country has been bombarded with the meat cartel scandal. According to reports, the import of non-halal meat camouflage as halal meat has been going on for decades. Regrettably, the people have been cheated for a long time and many irresponsible players who are involved directly or indirectly in this meat scandal have made their money. Following this expose, the stigma over non-halal or dubious meat consumption will remain in the minds of Malaysians for a long time to come. Both Muslim and non-Muslim are consumers of imported meat. So, the contention here is more of this meat cartel's unethical practice to lump all types of meat as halal or consumable when the source of this meat is questionable. No matter what steps are taken by Yakim or the government to overcome these abuses, it is difficult to curb meat cartels from their manipulative demeanor. This pickle will go on as long as the country is dependent on imported meat. There are 32 million Malaysians and about 90% of them consume meat. Unfortunately, until today, nothing much has been done to ensure an adequate supply of beef and mutton in the country. In 2020, it was forecast that the Malaysians would consume an estimated 49.4 kilograms of poultry meat per person. This put Malaysia amongst the top global consumers of poultry meat worldwide. However, there was a massive gap in beef and veal consumption, pork and also sheep. The best way to overcome this imported meat issue is to set up large cattle and goat breeding industries in the country. Local authorities can then supervise meat production. To ensure that this does not require, why not allow the livestock industry to be pioneered by foreign investors or the local private sector interested in this industry? The government should provide incentive to these investors to venture into this field so that livestock, slaughtering and packaging will be easier to monitor if they take place locally. We could also use oil palm, coconut tree, and rubber plantation to be integrated with our cattle, goods, and sheep. We are making use of weeds under the plantation. Species of forage identified include Paspalum conjugatum, Asonopus compressus, and Imperata cylindrical. For example, a cattle integration system with oil palm can be a living biological lawn mower. The benefits of cattle integration in oil palm as it can reduce labor cost up to 50% per hectare, reduce pesticide cost 30 to 50%, and increase oil palm fresh bunch yields by 6 to 30%, stated by Lam et al. 2009. Next, many investment in the ruminant sector to develop large-scale commercial beef and dairy cattle enterprises and goat farms are faced with supply issues of breeding stock and feed and inadequate technical and marketing support, resulting in low farm income and eventual closure of some of these farms. Perhaps it is time to strategize the commercial production of beef in this country by introducing new husbandry practice abandoned in new business models that are readily facilitated by a comprehensive supply chain. Beef enterprises based on smallholder units could be redeveloped in settler oil farm schemes that strategize on moderate size herds and improve feeding. Smallholder enterprises of beef should optimally be of less than 100 cow units in size to allow farm workers efficient use. However, cattle smallholder units should be assisted by ensuring readily available feed supply and extension service in many aspects of better healthcare, feeding and breeding. Therefore, 
extension agencies and privately managed service providers should be encouraged to provide smallholders with the necessary production inputs and required services involving the breeding, healthcare, and marketing of the animals. Sale outlets such as auction points for market animals would greatly facilitate the sector and instill confidence among producers to stay in their business. In the future, I hope Malaysia will be able to achieve self-sufficiency level SSL for meat industry especially beef and veal, pork, sheep and also goat. Thank you for listening. Bye.